Welcome to another video of Moodle. In this particular video, we will learn how to create a course in Moodle environment. We have already installed Moodle. We have configured the Moodle. We have seen the administration of Moodle. And now there is a time to add the course into your Moodle platform. If you have missed those videos, you can click the link which I have provided in the description below. Okay, let me take you to the Moodle platform now, which I have already installed. So here is moodle.syncrix.com. So I'll be logging in with my user ID and password, site administration and courses. So we will create the course. First of all, we'll click on manage courses and categories. By default, miscellaneous category is available here. First of all, we'll be creating a new category and this category will be a top category, not under the parent category as miscellaneous. So we'll create a top category here. Search for the top category. Now I created my first category here, which is PMP and its category number is 101. So you can sort it. Once you have created the course category inside this course category, I can create a new course. Now I'll be adding a specific course to this. So I created one course in my previous uh, learning management system or previous LMS platform, which is lms.syncrisk.com. And from here, I'll be choosing uh, this particular course, which is PMP exam prep. For this particular tutorial, I'll be using this one. So I'll give it a name here and course a short name. It can be PMP 2020 and uh, by default, the course category is here. So if you have missed that, so you can choose it from here. Also, if you want to assign multiple categories to this particular course, you can do that as well. Here is the course number. So I can give any course number which I want. So I can choose it, for example, starting from 1001 and uh, here is the course summary, I'll be choosing the course summary and then the course image. I already have an image, uh, this image here. Now the course image is also uploaded. Now the course format, there are four different type of course format that you can use in any uh, learning management system. So it is a topic format. So I'll be choosing as a topic format because there are various topics within uh, this particular course. Otherwise, depending upon what type of course you have, it could be a weekly format, it could be a social format or it can be a single activity format. I'll be creating 10 different sections into this. So these are 10 different sections and then hidden section, hidden sections are shown in the collapse form or hidden sections are shown in completely invisible. So I'll be doing it in this way because I'm doing this course in English. So I'll be choosing English. So number of announcements and all these keep it default depending upon your type of course, you can choose all these activities, file and upload maximum size of the site is 50 MB per upload. So you can choose it. You can reduce the size depending upon the course uh, format that you have. Sometime it could be just text format. So you can reduce that so that anyone who is creating this course, who is adding the content into course, so they will not be exceeding the size and complete course tracking. So you can enable the tracking or you can disable the tracking depending upon what type of course you are creating. Uh, now again, the group, various groups who will be attending this course. So you can choose that A role naming. For example, there are a manager's roles, there are course creator roles, teacher roles. So you can rename for this course. I want the project managers will be attending this PMP course. So I want a student name to be replaced as a project manager and tags. You can assign the tag PMP project management PMP exam. And these are all the tags save and return. Now you can see I have created one specific course under PMP category. If I go to PMP, you can see here under PMP, there is PMP exam course. So now we'll be going to this particular course. You can see here, I can click here, edit and I can edit the information. But as you can see, I cannot add any content here. So all the options related to this particular course has appeared here. Now I'll be clicking on PMP uh, 2020. Uh, now the course is available here. And if I go here, uh, moodle.syncrix.com and you can see now this course has started appearing here. But of course, user has to log in to see this course. Uh, I'll be just now adding the content under this course. I have 10 knowledge areas that I want to cover. So I'll be adding these 10 knowledge areas one by one. Turn on editing and now you can start adding. So my first topic is project integration management. I'll be adding uh, the topics one by one. If I refresh this again, you can see here titles has also been changed here. 
in one specific section we'll be adding the content here i'll be clicking here you can edit the topic if you want to make the changes to this and here is the summary and summary i'll be adding here this was the detail of this section now i have added the detail of this section here various type of contents that you can add under this specific topic now so let us see how you can do this so here i am in my first topic in this topic i will be adding an activity or resource so activity could be an assignment a database feedback quiz it could be a lesson it could be a forum resource could be a file book folder label page url suppose if i want to add a label here i'll be adding a video here suppose uh, so i can edit this as an html as well so i can expand this here also and you can see here i can edit this as an html suppose if this is the video which i want people to see under this specific course so i can just simply click here share and embed this video and this is the video that i want to add here so simply paste the source here iframe source and click save and return and this specific section this particular video is available here and then you can add another resource as a file and choose the file from here now we have added the content into the course we have added one video and then we have added the exam content which is a word format or word file and then you can add another resources if you want for example if there is a book you can create a book within this particular environment and then you can reuse this book for various other courses so once you create a book for example this will be pmp exam course and here i'll be adding the book uh, description here so for example i'll be creating this particular book here and then i'll be uh, this is tags i can add again here pmp exam and here I, i have added now if you see if you go back to this book it will start asking you to start adding the chapters so i'll add a new chapter here so you can see here chapter name is for example this could be my initiating planning process course initiating initiating process group and i will be adding the content is here then you can add the images you can add uh, anything you want and once your chapter is completed so you can see here so in this pmp exam course so there is first chapter here and then you can add various other chapters here if i go back to again my section here you can see that i have added one file and then one book and now i can add a url you know, for example from the pmi website i can provide the link here here is the link the details here save and return now you can see here so i have provided the link here it comes as a pdf format but when you will click here it will show you the link and that link will directly open so we can also see that we can add various other activities or various other resources also so resources books files we have seen that folder when you will create under this folder you can have then uh, various files ims content package is moodle specific content package so i have created a different video for this so you can see that video so earlier we created label so you might be wondering that what is the difference between label and page so once you create a label it will directly open the label here as we can see this here and if you create a page page will appear as a uh, link so i'll be creating another uh, resource here as a page so i'll be giving it a name page we have added here and here it is now if you see here label was directly opened here and page is here so i can click this page and it will open that page for me now we have seen how to add the uh, resources resources are all these resources book file folder label page or url and ims content library or like a content package i have already created a video for this you can see that in detail or the information is also available on moodle.org because learning management system is always interactive where the learners and teachers or course creators are interacting with each other so the best way to interact is to test the abilities of the students once they have completed a course or completed a specific section of the course and you can give them an assignment you can give them the quiz also so you can create the quiz from here you can create an assignment you can have the workshop you can have the take the feedback from them you can conduct a survey you can create a forum 
so glossary section can also be there which students or learners can refer and then h5p content which i have explained you that how the content can be created and then lessons also within the specific section of the course you can create the lessons and if i want to create a quiz i'll be clicking a quiz here the process group quiz i can save and return to the course you can see this i have created a quiz here but under this quiz there is nothing available in this so i'll be editing this quiz here by clicking here and edit the quiz okay so timing so you can enable the timing from here that from this particular date it will be available quiz timing is 10 minutes grading suppose i'll create one and allowed attempts um, for example five times the student can allow layout every question so i will keep it default and these all i'll be leaving as default okay now the quiz has been created go to this quiz now and click here and edit the quiz so earlier we were editing the settings now we have to edit the quiz inside the quiz now we can go here and add the question here if there is a question bank you can choose from the question bank or you can add a random question from the existing questions which are available so because there is no question available right now so i'll be adding a new question here so you can see there are various type of questions so you can ask for the calculation you can ask for the multiple choice true false matching short answers numerical essay of various things can be added here so i'll be using multiple choice question here and add it so now the question will be question 1 so choice 1 is and i'll be grading that also that if the one which is correct i'll be grading it as 100% others will not be graded and now save changes and continue editing i either i can save the changes or continue editing or i can simply close this question bank now if i go here question bank you can see here only one question bank is available one question is available so i'll be editing the quiz and i'll be adding from the question bank this question number 1 now you can see this question has been added here and save and now my course is ready to be introduced to the students so i'll be going here participants so you can see right now there is no one who is added as a participant into this uh, course so i'll be enrolling the users from here so i'll be adding these both users which are test users which i created and enroll users now you can see two users have been enrolled and now if i log out i'll just show you how the courses should appear here here is login and i'm not going as a site administrator right now my role is as a student i'll switch my role suppose as a as a student as a student i can see that this particular course is available to me so i can do this course so the moment i'll complete it then only i have to mark it done and now i'll be taking the quiz attempt to quiz now start attempt and here is my question bank time left is 9 minutes i'll be choosing this and finish the attempt you can see here submit and finish submit and finish here is the confirmation and i can see that my answer is also correct and mark as done so this is the way i can see my complete course here that how the course is assigned to me and what is my progress okay now the course is available here i can simply go here to uh, my site administration and then in the courses you can see there are other uh, also options here course custom fields so you can add the new custom fields into the course you can add the new course directly from here you can restore the course if any course was available previously in a different uh, platform so you can export that course from here and from the backup file you can import that course also so we can do that as well pending request if there is any pending request for from the students to attend this course so right now there is no pending request here there are various activities that student will be doing so depending upon uh, what activity is been chosen so from the, uh, here you can do all the settings and recommended activities these are all the recommended activities related to uh, a course so i can add a recommended activity which is maybe quiz so which will be available as a recommended activity for any course so once you have created the course it is very important that you do the backups of that also so i'll be clicking on automated backup setup so i'll be clicking here for the safe side you can do that automated backup is enabled now and it will do the backup every friday save the changes here now you can see the automated backup is enabled here
Don't you think it was very simple to add a course and add the resources and activities within that course? And let me know if there is any section that you think can be improved in next videos. So you can give me comment in the comment section below. See you next video. Take care and goodbye. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and avoid missing any latest videos.